Hi, this is Kale from the Virginia Harp Center New Jersey Showroom. For today's video, I'm going to talk about how the octaves are numbered on the harp, and I'll also go over some of the various materials that strings are made from, and hopefully this will provide some clarity for new harpists or parents of harpists who need to replace a string, but they're not sure which one they need to order. So we'll start with just some really basic information about how the strings are set up on the harp. Uh, so you'll notice there are colored strings. We have red strings, we have some clear strings, we have some blue or sometimes black strings. Uh, so all of the red strings are the notes C. All of the blue or black ones are F. And as we move from a longer string to a shorter string, we go up the alphabet, all right? So if I started on this C, I go to the shorter string next to it, I'm going up to a D. And then this is an E, and here we are at an F. We know it's F because we know our alphabet, but we also see that it's a blue string. So we're really sure about that. And now it's a G, then we have an A, then a B, and then back to C. Uh, so the octave numbering starts at the shorter strings uh, over here on this end of the harp. Um, with lever harps, we get a really wide variation in size. This is a 26 string lever harp. It's the smallest harp we have uh, available here at the Virginia Harp Center, uh, but they go up to 40 strings. But this one rule should apply to all lever harps as long as they have at least 26 strings. The very shortest blue or black string or your shortest F is going to be your first octave F. Any string shorter than that is gonna be in the first octave. So this would be the first octave G, and then we have the first octave F. Uh, when we start moving down the alphabet below the first octave F, that's where the second octave starts. So the octave, uh, the second octave is going to start at this E, and then it goes down to the second octave D, second octave C, second octave B, second octave A, second octave G, and then second octave F. So now our third octave is going to start from this E and go down all the way to this F, and we continue the same way all the way until we get to the lowest string. Uh, so that's generally the, the way it's gonna work for all harps. Over here, we have a 40 string lever harp. So let's find our octaves on this one. So I go up and I have my shortest F right here. So that's gonna be my first octave F. So everything on this side of that F is going to be in the first octave. Uh, so this is my first octave F, first octave G, first octave A, first octave B, first octave C, first octave D, first octave E. So on a 40 string lever harp, we have a complete first octave. We have all seven strings uh, uh, in the first octave. Now our second octave is gonna start here. This is second octave E, second octave D, C, B, a, G, and this will be our second octave F. So this would be our third octave, then our fourth octave, and then our fifth octave, and then our sixth octave, which isn't quite complete. We go six octave E, D, C, B, and A. So uh, this is the, the system you can use like uh, to figure out what string you need to order. Uh, you can give us a call, you say, I have a prelude, I need my third octave E, and we will know exactly what string to get for you. So uh, when we move over to a pedal harp, the system is the same system, but there's one important exception. Uh, for full-size pedal harps, um, or even for semi-grand pedal harps, so 46 or 47 strings, um, we're actually gonna have two strings that are above the first octave, right? We call this the zero octave, right? So this is a, a concert grand Kamek Esri. Uh, so our, on, this, uh, on all concert grands, on all full-size pedal harps, um, that shortest F is going to be your zero octave F, and then we're gonna have the zero octave G above that. Then here we have our complete first octave, and then the second octave, third, and then the fourth, fifth, and on a full-size concert grand, 
it's going to go all the way down to the seventh octave C. The important thing is that you start up here at the top where the strings are short and it moves that direction. The octaves start on E and they continue down to the F below the E. This way of numbering the octaves is unique to the harp and it's challenging at first, but it is important to know because each string is a little bit different. Uh, they all have different thicknesses or gauges and uh, they're also made of different materials. If you put the wrong string on your harp, uh, it might not sound right, or it might break, or worst case scenario, it could actually damage your harp as well. Uh, so that brings me to the next topic of today's video, and that is the composition of harp strings. Uh, so we'll start with pedal harps because uh, the, the string material and tension on pedal harps are standardized. Uh, so uh, the lowest strings on a pedal harp are gonna be made of a metal wire. Uh, we call these concert tension bass wires and on a pedal harp that's going to start at your fifth octave G and continue all the way down through however many uh, strings below that you have. Uh, then this area from your fifth octave A all the way up to the second octave E, these strings are going to be made of gut. So the, the strings are made from natural fibers that come from cow intestines. For the first octave and the zero octave, most harp manufacturers will put nylon strings on, uh, but there are some harpists who also prefer gut strings for the first octave too. So uh, when you give us a call to order your strings, you can specify if you prefer gut for the first octave or nylon. Um, but for all of these uh, nylon and gut strings, they're at what we call concert tension. Um, so, and you'll see that on the string package. It'll say concert tension or it'll say uh, like folk tension or Celtic tension. So for your pedal harp, you definitely want concert tension. Um, so all that means is that um, the, the gauge of the string is meant to, to have a, a certain tension uh, or weight to it uh, when it's tuned up to pitch. Um, so that's for pedal harps. Pedal harps are easy, they're standardized. You need concert tension, they're either gonna be metal wires at the bottom or gut and nylon above that. When we get into lever harps, there's a lot more variation in string material type and tension used. Uh, however, there are still, still are a lot of lever harps that are strung with concert tension gut strings. Like this Lion and Healy Prelude uh, is strung with exactly the same strings you would be, use for a concert grand pedal harp. You just don't have to buy as many of them. Um, and this is also true of the Lion and Healy Ogden and Troubadour, or the Salvi Anna, Kamek Mademoiselle, or the uh, Dusty Strings Boulevard. Uh, sometimes people get confused, like if they order a set for a troubadour and we send them our premier uh, pedal gut strings and they wonder why it says pedal harp strings on the package. And it's because uh, the troubadour, all those harps I listed, they are meant to be strung with concert tension gut strings, the same strings that would be used on a pedal harp. Um, so when we get into more like folk Celtic harps, uh, nylon is a much more common material to be used, and this is going to be lever tension nylon. Uh, so like this Dusty Strings Ravenna 34 I have here, uh, we have two types of nylon. We have monofilament nylon, or just like one, one string of nylon of, of varying thickness going down to here. And then we get into strings that are inside of this, there's a core of monofilament nylon, and then it's wrapped around. Uh, with another layer of nylon. So we call those nylon core, nylon wrapped. And then at the very bottom, we have uh, lever tension uh, wires. So these are metal wires here. Um, uh, then uh, fluorocarbon is another material that's uh, becoming really popular for harp strings. So this Kamek Azalees is strung with fluorocarbon. So it's just another synthetic material um, that's used to string harps with. Uh, it kind of has its own unique sound quality. Um, but yeah, so for the Kamek uh, Azalees, and it uses the same strings, uh, the Ulysses will also use this uh, string, it's a Savarez Alliance fluorocarbon, uh, up at the top, and then down at the bottom, starting from uh, the fifth octave C all the way down, um, those are going to be lever tension wires. Uh, so your harp should come with a string chart. Uh, if you ever get confused about what, what kind of material you need, or the gauge or anything, if you don't have a string chart for your harp, try doing a Google search. There's a lot of manufacturers that do publish their string charts online. 
Um, or if you're really stuck, you can always just give us a call at the Virginia Harp Center. We'll be happy to help with all of your string questions.